like any other black toe variation such as the core purples or the green toes the same exact theme is displayed whereas the toe the eye stay and the sock liner of the shoe is decked out in the color black with typical leather as overlays and underlays nothing special <laughs> I am Triple K T K and today guys we have a pair of Ear Jordan 1 yellow toes or taxis people are calling them that I picked up from Souls Insignia. They claim that they are retail and we will be doing some dibbling and dabbling in this video to find out if they are actually retail shoes. And like always, please make sure that you like, you comment and subscribe to the channel. It is very important that you do so. For underlays, white distressed leather is spotted and for a retail shoe allegedly, I suppose it is better which is a good thing right? Taxi hits are dropped on the toe box, the wing strap and also the heel of the sneaker. A taxi outer sole to support all of the innovation above. Last but certainly not least, the Nike box is colored in taxi with black branding as you guys can see directly behind me in this video. I've been through a lot of UA sneakers, especially when it comes to quality. And I think it is completely natural to be nervous when you are trying something for the first time. My main issue was, am I going to receive a quote unquote retail shoe from Souls Insignia? That was my main concern. I was not concerned about anything else too much. Or is it going to be some BS other sellers tried in the past? But guys, you're not going to get the reward without the risk. So you have to risk something in life. So I decided to take that risk. After all, they were the ones that founded Souls Insignia and I was just pretty much the one to put them on the platform. I've been asked this question over and over again and it was actually a few of my friends that founded Souls Insignia. Before I was aware of Souls Insignia, I had created a sneaker discard where all types of information is passed around for personal growth. And in doing so, a particular type of people loved what I was doing and decided to share some secrets with yours truly. Here we are today with these fantastic pair of Air Jordan 1 taxis from Souls Insignia, allegedly retail. It looks like anything that is listed on their platform that happens to be an actual retail shoe will be sold at resale, so it's typically buying from a local reseller. The only good thing about these guys is you're guaranteed to get a retail shoe because it is certain steps that they take before shipping the shoe out to you so that's how you get the reassurance that you're buying the real deal in addition if you know how business is conducted you will need some type of advertising platform so luckily for me i do have my youtube channel my instagram and my other social media platforms to advertise so i was able to get certain discounts that would not be available to the average consumer this way you will be able to initiate savings that is not normally offered to an average person. Unless it's a flopping sneaker or two you happen to buy in bulk, which happens to be another video that I will be making on buying retail shoes from China. Matter of fact, now that I'm saying that statement, it is funny that major resellers are now making videos on YouTube, letting you guys know that they have been buying from China for years now. And I think it is just heartwarming to know okay these guys are coming clean and showing you exactly how to make money everybody believes that anything that comes directly from china is fake and that is like the furthest thing from the truth so the main question that has been born from all of this how long have they been doing it and probably since the beginning of their respective ventures souls insignia had two instagram accounts that happened to be shut down before i shot this video so if you want to contact them 
I suggest you guys hit them up on their email or their WhatsApp. Those are the only two social media, well not even social media platforms, but two forms of communication that you will always be in contact with them. So I suggest you guys use the WhatsApp, the Discord, and the email address. Me personally, I normally love to contact them via WhatsApp. It's like the quickest response and the easiest way to speak to them. So if any other shutdowns do happen, you still will be in contact with them. And they also have a website that I find very convenient. Prior to their social medias being shut down, their website was linked in the bio. I think I do have it linked in my bio as well. It's in my link tree and I think it says something about my Discord's favorite seller. Just a quick recap, you're gonna go on my Instagram at I am triple KTK. You're gonna go all the way down at the bottom of my bio. You're gonna select the link tree and then you're gonna select my Discord's favorite seller. I'm sure you heard me say retail a million times without showing any proof concurring with the topic of this video. The first thing that I did, I checked them out myself and I couldn't find anything different. The stitching is above the swoosh. The materials feel very plush and very realistic. To the retail counterparts, these sneakers are really accessible to the market, so it's not something that I have to really go above and beyond to check. I do have a couple of tricks up my sleeve when it comes to quote unquote legit checking these shoes and nothing really alarmed me. I then decided to hit up a few of my friends that works in shops around my way, around my area, and they were lost as well. We had the same conclusion, a retail sneaker. And we're not just going by what they told us, we were going based off what we know about sneakers. Last but certainly not least, I decided to turn to an authentication app and everybody loves the Check Check app. So that was the app I used to give me my final decision to determine if these sneakers are retail or not and it turns out the sneaker is in fact a retail shoe so i am super happy about that soon i'll try to get a pair of ua ear jordan 1 taxis to compare to these bad boys preferably from souls insignia so that i can do a comparison between the retail pairs that i'm holding right now and compare them to the ua pair that they would send potentially in the future if i do decide to make that video obviously i had a little insight that i was actually getting a retail shoe because like i previously said they ensure you and they send you the information that you need to determine if the sneaker is retail before they actually ship it out to your address. This video could have been about any Ear Jordan 1 that dropped around that time. Matter of fact, believe it or not, the Ear Jordan 1 Lost and Found was also offered to my group. Some of my guys bought pairs, others didn't because of the oversaturation of the Lost and Found sneaker and the hype didn't really live up to the expectation that they wanted it to. But whoever copped copped and who didn't didn't but I decided to do this video with the Ear Jordan 1 taxis for you guys. I can speak about a lot of things on my channel and then there's some things I can't speak about. So the Ear Jordan 1 lost and founds, I'm not gonna go into detail too much, but yeah, they were also backdoored as retail shoes from wherever they came from. Like any system, the aftermarket site goes after percentages and there's nothing factual about it. It is all probabilities. Sometimes they're gonna get it right, other times they're gonna get it wrong, but it's not an absolute fact that they are gonna get it right. It's almost like a gamble. Legit checking is a probability-based system, just like many other things in the retail sector. Just because you happen to have a retail sneaker doesn't exactly mean that they're gonna call your shoe retail because it goes off of percentages. It doesn't care who you are. It doesn't care about how much money you have. If you fall on the wrong side of the percentage, they're gonna call your sneakers fake, which is not right. But like I said, it is probability based. And what that means in more simpler terms is if you have a retail shoe, sometimes they will call it fake. And if you have a quote unquote fake shoe, they will call them real. That's why Nike had StockX change whatever they were doing from authentication to verification. They will try to verify the sneaker and if everything checks out on their checklist, then they will deem the sneaker 
verified, not even authentic anymore. Ultimately means it circles back to being just a checklist. Do we have a lot of UA sneakers that will pass these checks? That is correct. Do we have a lot of retail shoes that will fill checks? That is correct. We have B grades that's going to fail, but Nike is still deeming them as B grades and selling them as retail. So this whole entire topic could be very paradoxical and that's why you need a thinking brain to really decipher and find out where you can pick up w's and where you can avoid your l's because just because you buy a retail shoe like i said doesn't guarantee that it's going to be called retail by the third party apps which is not fair to any consumer that's buying directly from nike i think it would be really wiser to purchase directly from the factory and not even retail shoes i'm just talking about the best uas on the market because for one you're going to save a busload of money and two you don't really have to worry about anybody scamming you because you know where your shoes are coming from why take the gamble of purchasing from goat or StockX to end up with the same exact shoe many people review on youtube I'm not talking about retails, but the best of UAs. The ones that happens to be coming from Pushian or Putian or however you pronounce the word. I know most of Nike's Jordans or Nike shoes in general are produced in Pushian or whatever you want to say. It really don't matter to me. They are ordering from the same factories, guys. I'm telling you, after factory produces a lot of shoes for these companies and they could get them even cheaper and cheaper every go around, they're not going to rotate that factory. They're going to employ the same exact factories to produce these shoes because the quality is somewhat okay there's less complaints and they can make even more money and that's what each business is built on profits so it all makes sense i've seen more than the average man and was business set up to be so shady i don't think so but at the end of the day people are the owners of these businesses and they want to make as much profits as possible and the way the economy is set up we are supposed to go into a recession this year so nike got to do what nike got to do like they've been doing from the beginning of time and it's either you get hit to what they are doing and save money where you can or you can fall prey like you've been have doing and continue to stay in the situation you're in understand that inflation is going to hit the recession is going to hit and these companies got to find new ways and be inventive and creating new ways to make money but raising the price of a jordan every single year i just think that that is really some malicious intent of shit and i'm not down with it and if i could pay 130 to 140 dollars sometimes even 99 dollars depending on if i get a sale on these ua sneakers i will do it every single time so that's where you see the average reseller that claim they send authentic items from nike because it's a marketing scheme they're trying to get their profits up as well and that's just how the game go the harder life gets the more unethical people are because they're just trying to survive is it right no but we are all trying to survive in this super inflated oversaturated market at this point but if you ask me if it's safer to buy from goat or StockX, depending on the sneaker you're picking up depending on the silhouette the release the colorway and all that good stuff in the timing i would say it's safer to find a plug directly from china instead of buying from somebody over here that has no idea how to create or even make a sneaker if you go and buy from these guys it's going to be your words against theirs and you know once the average person like myself take a loss we lose control and we don't be as reserved as we should be to get our point across thank you so much for watching my video please make sure you subscribe to the channel you like you comment any talking topics i touch base on that you didn't fully agree with just leave your opinion down low sometimes i will agree other times i will disagree but it's all love in the end and like always guys if you do spend time with yourself you will never be alone be easy on it in the game go ask triple k tk if we being decent and copping the recent then we don't care about what he say animal pack on my niggas be beasts we coming for retros and